Gate 2022 has a clear-cut message for all of the 2023 as well as all of the future aspirants. What is that message? In a word, aptitude. Hello everyone, a very warm welcome to Hatter's channel. I am Shanti and you can read more about who I am and what I do in the description. Now, what do I mean when I say that the message of GATE 2022 is aptitude? You see, 100 marks is the GATE exam, out of which 15 marks is for aptitude and 85 marks is for technical questions. What has GATE 2022 done differently? It has ensured that only if you have aptitude will you be able to solve the other 85 questions as well. Before the year 2010, the GATE exam was completely technical questions. In the year 2010, it introduced the aptitude section. This was to give a message that aptitude is important for an engineering student writing GATE exam. And over the years, we have seen the weightage for mathematics in increasing. Currently, it holds 15% of weightage. And this year, they have shown that without aptitude, you will not be able to solve the technical questions as well. Now, this is a good news in one way, a bad news in one way. The bad news is that the competition will be a little skewed. People who are naturally good problem solvers will obviously have an edge over it. And of course, this is a good news for all the people who are naturally good problem solvers. And what is the good news? The good news is that now you know it, that aptitude is very important. So you can now start working on developing your aptitude. Now, how can you develop aptitude? I will not ask you to solve all of the questions in RS Agarwal. In fact, I will suggest something unconventional. If you are an aspirant who has given one year for gate preparation, that means you are either in your final year or have taken a year off after engineering. Then in this few, few months, what you can do best to improve your aptitude is like something that I always keep saying in my videos, learn to take breaks in between. When you read for long hours together, your aptitude will take a blow. You can take breaks, you can meet friends, you can even explore new places if possible, if time is available, so that you have a different perspective of things. Aptitude is exactly this, not to see things in the same perspective, but to, see, be, to be able to see in a different perspective. And if you are an aspirant who is in, currently in your first year or second year or third year, then there's a good news for you, you have more time. Aptitude takes time, it develops over time. So you have more time to develop aptitude. And the best thing that you can do is to explore, like I told, to have new experiences. So just engage yourself in as many co-curricular activities as possible. And on the technical front, if you can read standard textbooks, it is definitely going to help with your aptitude skills. If you like the content of this video, then do check out other videos as well. And finally, like, share and subscribe to the channel. Thank you.